is China witnessing another Tiananmen moment? People are on the streets calling for President Xi Jinping to step down. Calling for an end to the Communist Party's regime. Now this is unheard of. Look at what happened in Shanghai over the weekend. A Chinese leader has died. Mourners have turned protesters. They are demanding freedom. It's a student-led movement. One that China is determined to crush. Does it ring a bell? It is an echo from communist China's worst nightmare, Tiananmen Square. The uprising that gave the Chinese communist a fright just when the Soviet Union was collapsing and communism's survival was in question. Let's rewind to 1989. This is what unfolded in Beijing following the death of Hu Yaobang. He was the general secretary of the Chinese Communist Party. He, he was forced to resign back in 1987 Two years later, who died? His funeral sparked the biggest political fire in modern-day China. And then in April of 1989, tens of thousands gathered in Beijing's Tiananmen Square demanding democratic reform. His funeral sparked the biggest political fire. What happened next? Cut to 2022 and it seems that history is repeating itself. What happened in 1989 is happening again. Not necessarily in the same sequence, but close enough to bring to life the ghost of Tiananmen and haunt China. Earlier today, China's former president, Zhang Zemin, died. He was 96. Zhang was handpicked to save Chinese communism from crumbling after the Tiananmen Square protests and did so through what can only be described as pro-capitalist reform. His death comes at a time when China is witnessing its biggest protests since Tiananmen. The same cities that saw demonstrations in 1989 have erupted in protests again. Just like in 1989, this time too, there is a call for reform. There is a call for free press. Zhang Zemin had presided over China's economic growth. He positioned the country as a major manufacturing power. His death comes at a time when China risks losing the tag, the famous tag of being the world's factory. The country's zero COVID policy is driving out businesses. We've been talking about this on the show. If Zhang brought in an era of economic boom, his death symbolizes the start of this era's end. If Zhang symbolized political stability following Tiananmen, his death marks the start of social disorder and another Tiananmen. We will make our point tonight over the course of this hour. We will start by showing you what's happening in China. Why the unprecedented wave of protests and clashes is eerily similar to Tiananmen.